In this video, I'm going to look at an artist called Ben Mitchell, also known as Drag Daddy. He had a kind of a big influence on me in terms of drawing hands. Years ago, you know, his hands are very uh, significant. Take another color. And I, I always like the style, and uh, and he did, he does these really, uh, really cool uh, coloring books. Super simple stuff, you know, uh, some uh, black and white drawings uh, stapled together in a, in a little bunch, and you can order them directly from his uh, website. And I, I've used those books to uh, study them and trying to get behind his uh, thinking a lot. I think the most significant thing I learned or the stuff that I picked up and I'm still using today is kind of the way that that he draws hands. And many people, they, they uh, have problems with drawing hands uh, because it's not easy. But I like his way of doing it. They look kind of, you know, real-ish, but, but still there's, you know, there's something going in, in different directions. You know, one of the, one of the key features of making an, a hand interesting uh, and funny is to to kind of have these uh, like uh, fingers and digits on the hand, uh, little elements that that kind of stick out from from just being like a ball that makes them more interesting. And actually, I I kind of think that it it probably makes them a little bit easier to draw actually because. Like this one, you can you can take three of the fingers and, and bunch them up in like this kind of shape, right? And then as long as you have a thumb and the other finger, then uh, it kind of works. We example a little bit out of proportion, doesn't matter, but you get the idea that you know if you if you you don't have to concentrate on drawing each and every single finger on a hand you can kind of uh, especially when it's it's characters that is gripping something then you can just make sure that the grip is right then draw a couple of fingers and get some mood you know some action and stuff into those so let's let's try and see if we can kind of uh, draw a little bit you know at least this is this is how i draw hands nowadays and it kind of derive from from ben's uh, style Let's say, we, you know, this is a pencil, it could be anything. Or maybe we do a shift knob, that's more classic. We have some kind of shift rod here, right? And then over here is like a character and out, out comes an arm. And I kind of always try to place the top of the hand first, or the, the palm of the hand, and then decide, okay, what Usually, you know, as you can see over here on Ben's drawing, you know, it's always the pinky that's sticking out, you know, because you don't really grab anything with the pinky. So that, that's that's the one finger that you can always make go out in a, in a, in a, like a funny direction. But then we're gonna look at the, look at how his thumb is kind of uh, going around the pencil here, you know, it, it's coming out and then kind of going in like this. So uh, I'm gonna do the same kind of thing. I, I usually start with just like stick stuff, uh, stick uh, like balls and points, just to make sure I get it right. And then put some extreme uh, movement into uh, the fingers. And this is the part where, you know, I don't really have to draw all, all the fingers. I can just draw a couple of, uh, lines because they're hiding be behind the other fingers and then I can do like Ben does maybe like a, a crazy uh, like pinky finger that's sticking out and that way the whole hand looks a little bit more interesting and this is of course you know this is the rough sketch what I would do okay now we're thinking that okay this is fine I'm gonna do you know, if it was on paper, I would use like a very light pressure, you know, like a 6B pencil or a color pencil and, and, and very light pressure. But now I'm painting on, on the iPad, so I just put on a new layer. If you had, it could use like a light table as well. 
And now here comes another thing that I'm doing a different way now, but I actually learned it from Ben, uh, from studying Ben, is that the way he does uh, nails. See, that's, you can kind of see that the, the nail is, is kind of embedded into like the, the tip of the finger. And, uh, and that's actually something I got from him, uh, the way I do it now. Uh, I, I haven't really looked. I don't use his uh, stuff for reference for fingers anymore because I kind of got my own style and that's also that's the way to do it. So what I do nowadays mostly is that you know you need this kind of soft spot, but then I kind of make like just like a like it's really embedded. And the, the most important thing here is uh, let me take another color so you can see. is those here those little the little bulge because those interaction with that top of the uh, nail right here is actually what makes it look like it's embedded on the, in the finger and this is of course a, a little bit cartoony uh, but that that's that's how I like to do it now. And you can see if you look at Ben stuff, he always have like the nail is is sticking out often, and that's cool. You know, but I, I kind of just developed my own style of this. Like <laughs> it's look like a little bit like a soft uh, rubber glove thing, and that's exactly not to kind of took my own horn here. But that's that's how you want to study other artists' work. You know. Get behind their thinking, why are they doing like they're doing? Draw their stuff over and over again. Don't pass it off as your own. And then with time you will uh, develop uh, your own way of, uh, of doing these things. And then you can go, you know, yeah, crazy on the arm or whatever. You know, this could be a smaller part of a larger illustration. I would probably like make one of these fingers go out here. You can even have them come up here if you want it even more extreme. You know, sometimes it's funny, especially in those shift knob situations, to kind of a. <laughs> make the fingers uh, like really ridiculous because it is supposed to be crazy monster driving driving a crazy rod or something anyway so we put a little bit of motion here maybe some hairs you know that's all in the details it's it's nice to kind of get the basic shape down first and the good thing about digital is, of course, you can keep on molding it like that. But uh, the uh, principle on paper is the same. So that's it. You know, you should definitely check out Ben Drag Daddy Mitchell. His stuff is super awesome. And also, you know, his contrast, you know, look at this uh, little area right here. You know, where he has all the teeth in the front here. But then on the back end of the mouth, he doesn't draw the teeth again, but they are just like silhouette uh, in the back and he actually breaks up um, this line right here of the arm behind it with the silhouette you know that's you know it might be uh, it look like super crude and simple stuff but this this kind of thing and this kind of thinking actually takes a little bit of uh, practice uh, to make this uh, look cool and, and really be uh, like super fast to read you know it's not really hard to tell what's going on in this photo and, and you don't even know, you don't even need the whole, you know, you didn't draw in the rest of the character because everything you need is kind of like in the face. Where's the eye looking? It's looking at the piston in his hand and he has a pencil in the other hand. It probably means that, you know, we can imagine what's going on, that this monster, which is maybe a self-portrait, uh, is my guess, 
Uh, he's actually looking at the piston to draw it. So that's it. We will, of course, link up to uh, Ben Drag Daddy's stuff in the description and everything, so you can check out more of his work. It's definitely worth checking out. Thank you for watching, and see you again soon.